Hi everybody, this is Kirby Baby here, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, so today we're gonna be playing some random horror games in this channel and for a Halloween edition special video. And the first game that we're gonna be playing is called Transference, and also, um, I wanna read this warning that says here for you guys specifically, because I need you to... You know, just in case anything happens, I don't want anything, guys. To get, you know, anything to happen to you guys. It says, um, a very small percentage of, percentage of individuals may experience epileptic seizures when exposed to certain light patterns or flashing lights. Exposure to certain patterns or backgrounds on a computer screen or while playing video games may induce an epileptic seizure in these individuals. Certain conditions may induce previously undetected epileptic symptoms even in persons who have no history or prior seizures of epilepsy. If you or anyone in your family have an epileptic condition, consult your physician prior to playing. If you experience any of the following symptoms while playing a video game or computer dizziness, alternate vision, eye or muscle twitches, loss of awareness, disorientation, any involuntary movement or convulsions, immediately discontinue use and consult your physician before resuming play. So yeah, anybody who um, experiences epileptic seizures, don't watch this video skip it to this number here that I'll be putting right here um so yeah just a little warning for those people so let's just get started with the game right so as you can tell the game is called transference the Walter test case and let's see how it goes and again warning people who suffer epileptic seizures don't watch this video because the number for the next game will be right here so please I, I don't want anything to happen to you guys so yeah uh, you know, just keeping it safe out there. So, yeah. Um, let's just let's just get through in this. Hello. My name is Raymond Hayes. I'm the director of the Brain Data Analysis Research Division here at the university. Hi. We're engaged in some very exciting work that we are thrilled to share with you today. You're you're very lucky to be here. We have been able to create a digital environment that's based on the brain data of a single subject. Um, we'll call him Walter, let's say. Now, this experience will work best if I tell you as little about Walter ahead of time as possible, but I will tell you that he has been diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder. Now, this is the incredible part. When you put on your headset, you will find yourself in a recreation of Walter's memory of this traumatic event. Now, I should say that this technology is very new and imperfect at this stage. Some of the data may be incomplete. <coughs> Some may even be corrupted. What you are experiencing is a recorded consciousness. It's not unlike watching a movie. So no matter how real it may seem, it can't hurt you. You are completely safe. You are completely safe. In a couple of years, this technology is going to be perfected. It is going to be released in the world. And you, the very few lucky ones that are here today, are going to be able to tell your friends that you were there at the very beginning. And that is incredibly special. So thank you. Okay, Mr. Dewey. I think I saw Jack Simpson guy play this a while ago, but I don't remember absolutely anything from this game. Thank you. Oh. supposed to be here? Uh oh, don't turn the lights on me. I'm going to put it in the dark, June 2002. Excuse me. Basement key. Okay. Uh. You didn't want me? Why did you even have me? <coughs> Afraid to kill a baby, tough guy? <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Oh, I still have the key, but that. So I can't go to the basement. What is it said here? Don't forget to turn off the light. Ooh, no, no, no. June 1983. We're back in the 1983 version. What's this? Sports magazine. I guess this might be a psychological horror game. No. Maybe you don't. This bird is glitching. Family, I think so. Let's see. 
3rd uh, Armored Division, Iraq, 1991. Okay. Uh, self help book. Can we turn off the light? Nope. Daddy? What did I do wrong? Nothing. What about the other thing? So we need to go specifically to that red door. Oh my god. Don't Whoa. come in! That thing will happen! What? What? Scott? Can you let me in? Okay, can we open Where this are my door? blocks? Where are my blocks? Where are my blocks? Don't know. Scott, you shouldn't have let me in. I wanted to play cards with you. Okay, so I'm assuming this key goes to the basement now. Or this door specifically. Leave your message after the tone. Key is required. Okay, nice. Okay, we're gonna get killed in the basement again. Upstairs or something? Okay, like, okay, I want to explore more a little bit. <coughs> Everything. Jesus. Yeah, of course. The basement weren't crazy enough. Ted Walter, Okay, can't take them with me. What is that? Hello? Hello? I think I think I need to put this over there. Dumb dumb. Some goddamn ah! Ah! I can't believe I looked up to him. <laughs> Some goddamn hero. He couldn't save his own family. We're not even a family. We're a bunch of goddamn POWs. Is that you? We're back. 1993. Anything different happened? Son. Scott, can we get in now? Yes! Right? Careful! What the hell am I doing in here? I just came from here. What the heck am I gonna do now in this place? Okay, uh, where is it? We got okay. More beer bottles. Oh, the beer bottle, of course. Papa was drunky drunk. <coughs> no bueno. I don't seem to be hearing anything yet again. It takes forever for these type of stuff to to work out. Okay. Yeah. The lights again, I guess? Can't believe I looked up to him. Unless he can see something in 2002, he then. Couldn't save his own family. <laughs> We're not even. Looking for my dad? Well, you're too late! You wanna find him so bad? You can join him! Oh my god, what the heck? My eyes have seen. Of the coming of the Lord, he is of the What the fuck? What the fuck? What the 
for participation what the actual heck that i just played well there you have it that was transparent for you hope you guys enjoy this i'm gonna go to the next one all right so the next game we're gonna be playing the next game we're gonna be playing is called the unknown city um episode one okay let's play and see how well it goes obviously the game level one demo No, we'll take a right turn and reach the headquarters within 20 minutes. Oh yeah, certainly. You're gonna get killed. Do I ever want to turn do that? right? No. 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 I think we should take a U-turn and head back. No Just relax. We'll reach there shortly. Fiance, why do you do that? Yes, by the way, Fiance John. Oh, good luck. I'm gonna get killed. Don't think you need to do that. not so hot. Kaka!
Wanna see the worst dialogue ever? Watch this one. Worse than the 1986 Resident Evil 6. I mean, Resident Evil 1. Bump. The car seems to have broken down. How come this happened? How did the car break down? I have no idea. I think this has happened due to bad weather. Us both into enough trouble for one night. Anybody there? Hello. Oh my God, worst dialogue ever. Uh, this place is weird. I don't see anyone around here. I know. It's been like twenty thousand times. Yeah. This game is the worst already. Zero out of ten. Worst dialogue. Worst stuff. By the way, not over here. Sorry, I'm not following you clearly. I'm looking around. Oh, you just gonna stand there and look at me? Oh. That's so cool that he's probably... Keep telling me the instructions again. I swear to God. I wanna see some monsters! Is anybody there? Hello? Getting a bad vibe about this place. John, you should speak. You were speaking earlier. The phone. Can't bite your tongue. There's nobody here. Hello. Anyone there? We need help. Oh, what a way to talk to her. What are we gonna do? Oh. Hello, officer. Our car has broken down, and we need some help. Officer, are you all right? Can I get we need first? your assistance, officer. What are you doing? Why are you standing in a corner like that? Come on! Help! Help! Oh my gosh, it's not bad. Where are you? 
Weapons for this crack up a fool. Okay, see, this is what I was talking about. I'm not quite sure about that. Do I have stamina? I think I do. So nice. Pick up more rounds for the police. On it. Can I now go to the port on Tito? Can I shoot the port on Tito? Oh yes. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna leave this game here. Um, I'm pretty, I do not like it. <laughs> um, it was, I mean, it's cool. A lot of, uh, the only thing I like, again, is the monsters, but everything else is just terrible. Zero out of ten. Zero out of ten. Don't get it down on this demo, or my opinion is that it's terrible. I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm here, I don't like this, and it's terrible. So yeah, um, thanks for watching this one, let's go for the next gameplay. Okay, next game, The Walking Dead, the final season. Yeah, I know, this game came out since last year, there was some trouble with it, and I want to play the demo, and include it in my horror list, so yeah, let's get going. Okay, but for now, we're going to play this little demo as a horror, random horror game, because I, I'm trying to Hey zombie. Okay. It's like I must walk. Oh, oh man, that, that would have been epic if the car would have passed on. Uh, man, that hat is so old. Clementine! I just need it all to look at AJ. Hey, AJ, what are you doing with the gun? 
What you doing there, goofball? Pretending we got bullets. Well, don't. It's getting on my nerves. Thank you. I don't like goofball. I'm too big for it. Well... Huh, so I guess you're all grown up now. All grown up. Yep. <laughs> well, let me drive. No, not yet. I'm not letting you drive. <clears throat> What's wrong? AJ? Hungry. Sure, I think we might have something. Can I give him... Okay. Maggot, he Here. seems old. He can... reading. But I don't wanna. It'll take your mind off your stomach. That's definitely Preheat oven. Oh no, it's a cooking Place book. cream. Vanilla be beans into a saucepan and bring good reading, though, a but boy. please stop. Uh, on second thought, never mind. That's only <coughs> gonna make you hungrier. Let's just give him the snack. Well, Here you go. About all we got. What about you? Aww. Go for it. We'll find something else soon. I believe you. That's nice. But the boy thinking I comment him before eating the potatoes. We gonna do it? Think so. Looks clear. Sorry. <clears throat> We're doing it. I mean, it is food we're gonna look for. I mean, let's hope there's no. I mean, I did saw the walking dead game play, so pretty much have an idea what to do. I'm going to bring... Let's bring a toy. <laughs> Pick up canteen. Can we look at the toy? Oh, nice. I want to look at it. Uh, I say... Tree. Looks like... There. There's a fry bar. Can we bring the canteen as well? Yes, can we pick up the canteen. Excelencia. We need water too. <coughs> okay, that's it. Right? Okay, bye. Awesome. Find food. All right. Let's find some food. Okay. Let's read time. Friendly bear. Friendly, friendly ring. ring the bell. What does it mean? It means the people here shoot first. What do you mean shoot first? When you see. Rather consider the consequence before taking action. Looks really nice. Really nice. Um, I hear a zombie. Oh. AJ, stay back. <laughs> what am I doing? Okay, press circle to stun. And then kill. <laughs> okay. It's down. Still with me? Still here. No bites. Next, so, we get in there. So kawaii. By the way, um, can we play on the on the realm? 
What push him in this thingy? Monster trap? <laughs> it's not a trap. You swing on it. For fun? You get in the tire and someone pushes you so that you go really high. Get in! Oh, I wanna try. After we clear this place. All right. We're gonna play on the wheel later. Good job. I like exploring a little bit. Look at this. It's just mwah, perfect. It's like a deer skull. Hmm, interesting. <clears throat> now that's an artifact. I will be collecting Barbie dolls, even in the apocalypse. <laughs> Pry the door open. Pra. Okay, we're doing great so far. So far we're doing great. What do we do inside a new place? We listen for monsters. After that? Uh... Come on, you remember. We... Oh, I can Inside decipher him. Inside a new place. Uh, always find a way out. Find a way out. Find a way, way out. out. Oh, yes, that's right. AJ is always listening. Okay, so we gotta be careful. What if he's listening to me? Do I? I don't understand the language he's speaking. Oh, zombie couple. Huh? Monsters. Mm. All tied up. Well, as they long as they're tied, us. we don't need to kill them. No, they can't. Hmm. Your choice is to turn and walk the way home. Yeah, but I'm not playing the full game. Though. This one's locked. Okay. Security door. Hmm. Can't pry that open. I know you're hungry. I am too. We'll find something. I promise. Let's keep exploring around. Can we run around this place? They ate Picture. well for their last meal. What about the boy? How are you doing, AJ? No, oh, poor dude. Hungry. Man. Poor kid. Let's check out the zombies. Look at the walking stick. We know. Please leave us alone. This is what we wanted. Poison. Did they give up? They wanted to leave this world together, holding hands in their own home. Will we have a home? We'll see. Okay, can I kiss you? Yeah, this opens the lock. <sighs> That's not happening. But you can grab the key. I mean, you can try to hold it. For a second. Do we get the key? Mm, it's risky. Might be another way through that door. Let's look around. Let's be smart. Yes. That's right. You're smart, tough cookie, AJ. Lincoln. Okay. Open the door. Lock it. What about in here? Look at the booth window. Too small to crawl through. <clears throat> well, for me. And the key or the window. Those are our options. It's dark in there. We should kill the monsters. They're not people. 
well, they used to be people. And as people, they asked to be left alone. So what's best? Hmm. Okay, kill the couple or send AJ inside. I didn't say I'm killing the couple because, like, what's the point? They're dead anyways. Um, they'll still be dead there, so... I mean, I'm sorry. I'll get the key. Besides, I'm not risking the boy's life. And a total darkness without knowing what's in me. And I can't get it. I'm sorry. <coughs> Good job. <sighs> Sorry, it had to go this way. If you didn't have the key on, we would have left you alone. But you had the key on. We're hungry children. Oh, I mean, and you were dead anyway. It's not like I'm being a heartless monster, but. <laughs> The boy is happy. Huh. They had a good thing going here. Can we stay here? We'll see. No one's here. No one's ever anywhere. Yeah, but it's... It's always just monsters. There aren't that many people left, kiddo. That's sad. How many did there used to be? Hmm. So many. Just a few. Remember what we said? Again, deciding for the boy. You know this. Always, Always aim for the head. That's right. Come on, let's keep looking. There's gotta be something we Thank can do. Thank you, need. Mrs. Clementine. So. I'm learning so much right now. I think I did bed. Not the worst place to sleep. It's a kid's bed. Can we take some of the stuff? We didn't see a again? kid. No. No, we didn't. Might be why they gave up. Oh, man. What's this? Look at the kid. <sighs> Spoiled. Sorry, buddy. These are long gone. No swears. Hey, watch, watch the, swear. the swears. I meant shoot. It's okay. Look. Oh, thank <sighs> you. You smart. Something under here. <clears throat> Floor door? Huh, yeah. I must have wanted to hide something. <sighs> That's a lot of stuff. Yeah, it is. We could eat for weeks with this much. Uh oh! Is someone under there? It's rigged! <laughs> oh my lord. What a great day to destroy the food. AJ! Selfish B words. At least AJ is safe. And the zombies are watching coming to me. Could just hide somewhere. Well, I mean, we need to get out now. Monsters. Okay, then let's get out of here. Like, pronto. Come on, stop creeping around on the left. Clementine? We need to get back to the car. Pronto. Okay. You know what to do. Stick to the sides and be my eyes while I clear a path. Let's hope I don't die. 
So that was it for the Walking Dead the demo. Let's gonna go and check out another game. Okay, next play next game. We're gonna be playing a game called True Fear Forsaken Souls Part One. Loving the graphics so far, it looks creepy. I think I'm gonna put my pants with this. So yeah. Um let's just see how well would this game go for me. Let's start. out of ten already without even starting. <laughs> Can we open? I wanna ooh it's a 
like a point and click game. Let's get it. Whoa. Excuse me, can you jump scare me? Whoa! Okay, the monster didn't look cool, but the jump scare got me. That woman. Neato. Okay, use sail to look around. You can interact with objects in the world. Turn lamp on flipping switch. Okay. Uh take off the lamp set. Remove the bulb. Open the drawer. Is this like a point and click five? Give me this. We got the light bulb, we, we use it and we put it here. Use the light bulb, okay. And then we turn on the light. Okay, is that it? Directional buttons in the upper left corner indicate in which direction you can travel your current location. Okay. Oops. Is she okay? The magnifying icon indicates when you can zoom in for a closer look to some people. Okay. A letter. This late? Okay, let's open this cycle. No, no. Okay, let's open. Okay, we got a mail. Had a stone house. Okay. Little sister. I'm so sorry I disappeared. I'm sorry I have, haven't sent you any news for so many years. It was for your own protection. This one reminds me of Clock Tower all of a sudden. Unfortunately, the time has come for you to learn the truth about me, about our mother, and above all, about you. And close as an address. Please come as soon as you get this. I have always loved you. I'm so sorry. I hope you understand your sister Heather. My sister. I didn't hear from her for almost ten years. Oh my god. <laughs> so we're going to that creepy hospital there. We were very close with my sister. And then shortly after our mother's death, she just disappeared. It was almost ten years ago, and I have never heard from her again. What could have happened to her? She's possessed by the monster! She is the monster and wants me dead because I'm her sister. Hold on a second. Act one on it. Okay, let's look around. Let's look at the trash can. Ooh, point click. Nothing, nothing. Is there a dead body around here? No. Oh, mine! The crowbar. I got it. What is Wait, wait. This is a journal. What a nightmare. Something terrible happened in the hospital. I remember the name. Dark Falls Asylum. I'm glad the, pos the postman woke me. Although the strange t timing is Um, how do I get out of this place now? Okay. Can we... Um... Ah! Okay. Let's see. You can always consult your diary for important discovery. I just did. Fab. Uh -huh. Close it with the circle. I want to see what she wrote. Seal shut. I got to get those boards off the gate. Okay. Not a bad game. this 
find seven more set pieces. What the heck? How am I gonna find all those pieces? Shimmy, Uno, Dos, Tres, Cuatro, Cinco, Seis, Y Siete. This might be useful. Now what? When you have a lot of objects in your inventory, you can scroll them by pressing L. Okay, okay. What do I give this piece of puzzle for? I think these are for the mailbox right here. Yep. Okay, we're gonna have to do puzzle solving. Okay, got it. We did it. Yes! It's a cute little point looking game. Okay. Now, let's go in there. What, what did I just receive? Um, uh, what about L2? Did he put anything on the notes? Um, what did I just get there anyway? Okay, the letters fell down. Oh! Gimme. Dear Miss Dear Miss Stonehouse, we receive your inquiry about patient Dahlia as we cordially invite you for a visit to provide us with the opportunity to answer all your questions. If we don't see you soon, we may need to make our own house call to Jerry. I don't know what <laughs> that name there. Um it's a letter from a hospital with a strange name, Dark Falls Asylum. It doesn't look like any official letter I've ever seen. And who is Dahlia S? Okay. Now that we got the key, let's go. Spooky scary woman. What was that? Okay, let's go this way. Really cool technique. It's a really nice and interesting game. It's a really cool, interesting puzzle game that we can get to play. A lot of little horror stuff is happening here. It looks creepy though, I like it. Uh, if you guys really enjoy it, you should check it out yourself. Okay? Let's go to the last game. Alright, so the last game we're going to be playing is called Miss, o Miss Tobin. It's a short little demo, don't know what it is about. So we're going to get in. New game, obviously. And yeah, let's just get it over with. Oh, I'm a cute little guard girl. Is it a horror anime chibi thingy? Okay, uh... I'm so sorry. Uh... Okay, apologies. Arta! A small kingdom on the edge of the continent was once plagued by the threat of destruction when a massive vortex appeared nearby. The just color of the despair as it came to be called near nearby nearly brought about the end of the world. started a few years ago when a thick mist emanating the vortex began to bring across the land. From its steps emerged human creatures and large espers. The mist slowly ate away the land, leaving all the trail decay its wake. While the espers destroyed everything in their path, many kingdoms lay in ruins and countless lives were lost. Just when all hope seemed lost, everything suddenly stopped. The mist no longer spread and the espers crawled back into their impenetrable depths. Nevertheless, the people feared that the danger would return. Convinced that the cause of this horror lay inside the vortex, people started venturing into the mist, hoping to unveil its mystery. Before long, an official expedition from the found that it explored the vortex. They soon discovered it was a passageway to the world existing in different dimensions. To gather better, better, to gather better intelligence, the expedition corps recruited more members, people from far and wide, the adventure of Arta, for wealth, glory, and whatever else their hearts desire. Okay. You come to your senses, you're heading trouble. In front of you stands a forest covering the thick mist full of mysteries and remains of power and death. How do you get there? You turn to the map. But you lift up every thought and hear something dash through the thick forest coming straight to you. What is it? Oh, and then you see hideous monsters that look like oversized beetles. These disgusting creatures 
like you uh, let out a wretched streak as they are about to attack at any moment. They are definitely foes, not friends. Looks like you'll need to fight them. Okay, how am I gonna fight them? Oh, I can see that. Ambush. What the heck? Okay, I'm not. I'm not doing anything with this. Come on, girl, you missed. Are you for real? Come on. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong, but... But damn it. Come on, you can do it. Bomb touch. Okay, she protected herself. Oh, come on. Okay. Awesome. Punishment. Holy smash! Okay, here's the thing. I'm gonna leave this one here because, um, you know, I wanted to play something shorter. I guess this one is one of those short games. Um, yeah, if you're curious, this is called Mortex, if I'm not being mistaken. I don't know. Um, you can check the games out up. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you really, it really means the world for me. Thank you so much for the support. Um, love you guys so much for real. Um, I'm sorry that I couldn't, you know, I try to play some horror games to be on the Halloween track. I hope this wasn't good enough. I'll try to do better next year because, you know, so many unexpected things happened for me to film this game. But yeah, uh, again, thank you guys so much for watching these games. It really means the world to me. Um, if you really did enjoy these videos, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Want to continue this epic adventure? You can subscribe to my channel and I'll see you on the next video. I'll also, I'll be li leaving uh, the names of the games in the description. So yeah, you can check them out. Bye! Thank you.